Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the History of Fan Anime. I'm your host, William Chow, and in today's episode, I'm going to go over some of the titles that I've had to uh, go through and watch um, over the uh, Christmas break. And I thought, you know, I'll share some of the titles I've went through and some of the history and that kind of stuff that I've, that I've gone through and some of my uh, thoughts of them. So before I begin, I want to go down below, click like, click subscribe. And if you want to write a comment of what you watched over the Christmas break, by all means, you know, uh, type that one in that in, your com in the comments field there. I'd like to hear uh, some always, you know, suggestions and that kind of stuff for what I'm going through. Um, I'm going through the best of 1990. So again, I'm going, as I'm going through the titles and that kind of stuff, I'm constantly uh, adding and, and commenting on things that I've, uh, uh, you know, made on the videos. But, uh, you know, I'm going through some of the things uh, of all of the various different videos uh, from the 1980s. And I'll write down the best of the 1980s. Again, uh, links below uh, to see the, the, those uh, titles uh, for the best of titles for the 1980s. Okay. Uh, also, for those who want to support me uh, financially, I do have the uh, PayPal and the Patreon. Um, links are also down below. I've just added uh, two new episodes, um, two more new episodes actually, uh, to continue on with my story of uh, different things that, that are happening in China and some of the really strange and uh, you know, crazy things that have gone on there. Um, plus, I've also added uh, uh, some more um, uh, of the images and that kind of stuff that I've done with the uh, AI rendering. Uh, the stuff that I can't show you on YouTube because, well, you know, YouTube doesn't want you uh, to see that kind of stuff, as it were, right? So, again, um, you can see that on, on there. So, today's topic is, again, uh, you know, since we now all have had this long Christmas break, um, I've had a chance to, you know, to, you know, pin around with, the, uh, obviously, you know, doing the different uh, uh, projects with the Adaptive AI, but a lot of things I've, I've been sort of catching up with is some of the anime. Um, so, I'm going to go over some of the titles that I've uh, gone through and watched. And uh, you, know, you know, a little bit of background about them, and and, and how I kind of came across them, and um, and then maybe you can maybe uh, check them out as well if you like, uh, and why not? Okay, um, I might know in the process of also working out a concept that I haven't realized in a while, but uh, maybe you know I'm gonna sort of think it out and work it out a little bit, and uh, maybe see sort of, sort of uh, if you're interested in it, uh, then you can also participate. But I'm trying to feel, you know, trying to determine and find ways on how. We can get back into that old spirit of, of uh, you know, media trading, VHS trading, and that kind of stuff, uh, but maybe in a more modern sort of way, um, and how we can uh, uh, you know exchange uh, um, you know information and, and of course uh, resources and that kind of stuff. So again, I'm sort of working that out. I'm not sure how to do it, but again, um, you know, maybe I'll we'll have to put a special episode for that. Okay. So without further delay, let's talk about some of the uh, details that I've uh, gone over. Uh, during the Christmas break, all right? Okay, so I start with my Amazon wish list. So again, this is from a previous episode. I've started building up a list of TV shows and things that, uh, you know, I should probably watch, you know, and as I was going through my, you know, best of 1980s, you know, I came across these titles that, you know, because, you know, we I initially started trading these ones in VHS. And, you know, at the time, uh, you know, um, I got into anime at the, in the late '80s, so a lot of this, th these animes are from the early '80s. Um, but we, th but they were still around in very you know limited numbers because obviously you know a lot of people didn't really have uh, those really really expensive VCRs at that time to begin recording them, right? So with the advent of technology and uh, you know improvements of licensing and that stuff, because it's becoming really, really cheap, um, you know these shows have now been uh, subtitled or you know some of them even being dubbed. Um, now I can actually go back and watch them, right? So let's uh, uh, going through that on the list here. I wrote uh, and uh, you know put these onto my wish list, <clears throat> knowing that someday, you know, I, I should keep an eye out for these, right? So <clears throat> um, going through the list again, I decided, okay, okay, let's go through and start with see what I got. So the first one on the list was uh, Space Runaway Edeon, okay? <clears throat> so you know Edeon, uh, you know, uh, right away it's one of those classic animes that came out in the early eighties, nineteen eighty. <clears throat> and uh, it's done by the Gundam guy Tomino, genocide uh, Tomino. So if you're, you know, sort of interested, you know, after watching, you know, the regular first Mobile Suit Gundam, <clears throat> and uh, you know, you saw the, the the destruction and everything that the war caused in that in that one. If you feel like traumatizing yourself again with more of that, then Edeon is definitely your kind of anime, right? So giant robot type show again. <clears throat> um, you know, big, you know, big uh, conflict going on. 
Uh, again, my big warning with a lot of uh, Tomino shows, uh, don't get attached to too many characters, or well, you know, because by the time you get to the end of the show, you know, half of those characters may be all, you know, maybe offed off, right? So, um, so definitely, yeah. So I went out and uh, started looking for this one, and and uh, you know, see uh, what I could find, and then I realized, oh, okay, um, I came across this uh, website uh, for the what this uh, group called. Uh, 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 Kyak, uh, I don't know how you it. Uh, Kyaxi, okay, or Kix, I guess, maybe. Kixi. Um, uh, they're a fan something group, I guess, and, uh, they, you know, were, were doing, they were thinking of doing, uh, Edeon back in 2000, I guess in the middle of the 2015s or something, 2013s or whatever. And, um, apparently it took them three years to do essentially 39 episodes or whatever, right? So, <clears throat> About uh, what? Uh, about twelve episodes every year, uh, every year. So about an episode every every month. Now you know, <clears throat> a show like Orange Joe, you know, forty eight episodes. I did in like literally three months. Okay, these guys are proud of the fact that it took them a freaking three years to do the same thing. And it's like, oh my god, this is like horrible, guys. <laughs> and well, whatever. You know, it's it's, it's you know, you know, it, it's it's a different animal nowadays right um i mean it theoretically should be way easier but i guess obviously you know even being a like a one-man show type of thing it still theoretically should be easier but you know whatever it took them forever um but they got it and so you know, managed to go, you know to follow the links and and uh you know they have it all available and uh yeah so i pulled it all down and and, and had a chance to watch it through and and you know it was great because now all of a sudden i'm seeing a clear picture of something that you know a lot of the episodes I, I got were like black and white and and the tracking was so off on some of the VCRs that like like you know the picture is constantly shaking and you know you know turning the fuzz and all this stuff so I couldn't even tell what some, you know, some of the action was all I know is like you know just from the sound effects that you know I guess something's getting blown up or something's firing or somebody's mad at something or whatever and, um, you know, it was really, really difficult to kind of, kind of I, don't know, I, I guess that you had to do more brain work to actually kind of fill in the gaps between what you could see and when you, and when you couldn't see stuff, right? But definitely, yeah, so it was a nice experience to go through that. So again, if you're interested in a, in a Gundam-like thing, like, so original Gundam, original, like, you know, Zeta Gundam type of thing with, you know, fairly much, good, good amount of characters, the Space Gunner War, large, you know, robots and that kind of stuff. Um, and lots of destruction, um, uh, you know, as the word brings. Um, so, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, this might be one of those type of shows that you want to check out. And again, it's, it's, uh, you know, you can get it uh, absolutely, uh, um, you know, for free at this present moment uh, from that, okay? Going down the list here, um, there's another one called uh, the Galaxy Galactic Gale Batsinger, okay? So this is another one of those series that they apparently released on, on, on DVD, just like uh, Edeon, but, like, no one's got copies of it anywhere. I mean, I guess they just they put it out and then immediately just they decided, ah, no, we don't want to make any more. That's it, and they kind of discontinued. So again, copies out there are out there, but you know, no one's selling the the other copies, and no one's got any any copies in stock, right? So I figured, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna just, just uh, you know type it in and, and uh, see what I can find, right? So and um, didn't take long just to search around, and I managed to find this series. Uh, archived on the Internet Archive, okay? So, uh, again, uh, it's, a, it's a free download, and you just go in there, uh, download the entire uh, set of episodes. Now, again, it's a little weird because it says that you have to use um, a Motscra um, to, uh, uh, you know, to, to play. It's not your standard, uh, you know, MP4 or AVI or, uh, you know, move file. It's uh, one of those, uh, you know, Motscra files. But that's, you know, that allows it to have, you know, multiple lines of subtitles, multiple lines of... of uh, you know, um, voice dialogue, that kind of stuff. So it's pretty good. Um, so this series, right, again, um, you know, again, early 80s, right, we're talking in the era of giant robots again, you know, because, you know, so Gundam was really, you know, this really pivotal series, which, um, you know, set the motion in um, to a lot of these, you know, uh, you know, kid with the thing that transforms into a giant robot, in this case, you know, it's like, it's like, it's like a speeding car type thing. Um, and, so it um you know you know basically transforms into you know giant robot thing and you know and and the same story right <laughs> um you know 
again, this is one of those things that I got very, very limited number of copies of, of back in the day when I was tra you know, trading them on, on, on VHS. And so this is sort of one of those kind of curiosity things I decided to, to, you know, to, to, to keep on my list and just check it out. And so, so I'm watching it right, right over through right now and, 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 and you know, sort of enjoying that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, it's 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 a pretty, you know, it's a nice kickback. Okay, um, again, similar style of, uh, of anime, um, and uh, you know, I think so. Again, if you're interested in that sort of era where you you know you know that, that early sort of Gundam, you know, uh, you know <clears throat> Dunbine, you know, Elgaim and that kind of stuff. If, if you're into that kind of shows and that series, then this is right up your alley, and you should definitely uh, you know do, do check that out. Okay, and the next one on the list is the Ninja Robots Tobi Kage. Now, I you know I really liked uh, the opening theme song for this thing. I thought it was really really kind of a <clears throat> you know really kind of a moving sort of thing. The series itself is really not much different than your your standard Sentai show, except now they've added more spacey kind of elements to it, right? But for the most part, yeah, it's you know you um uh, you know your general Sentai type of thing, except you know and, and it's even like ninjas too, right? So um, you know, the, 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 the robots themselves are like giant, like ninja type of robots, right? And, you know, they can, the guy kind of, you know, does the same sort of thing that, uh, most Sentai shows do where they, um, you know, try to fight the enemy, you know, you know hand to hand sort of, uh, you know, using ninja moves, you know, normal. And then when they get their asses uh, kicked, then uh, they, they have to call the robot in, and then they jump into the robot, uh, you know, much like the same way most Sentais do. And, um, you know, then they fight the, the, them that way, so. And, you know, um, another thing that really kind of really also got me into this series uh, in the early stages was, um, um, as I showed uh, in one of my other videos, um, uh, the artwork, uh, some of it was done by uh, Hirano, the same guy who did... Um, uh, Dan Gayo in Ixer 1. And again, I really liked how the female character is drawn because it's very, uh, you know, um, it's actually very um, Megazone 23 looking like uh, type of thing. Um, so, you know, I, I was always very curious about this show. But again, it came from the early 80s, right? So um, when I was collecting this and trying to get VHS copies of this, it was very difficult. Um, even to so much so that... Uh, uh, you know, even when the guys uh, that, that were um, trying to make the DVD uh, for uh, Toby Kage, they said they, they had to um, outsource the audio because their, you know, the laser copies that they were trying to get were so degraded and, and they couldn't get, I mean, they, they got enough video content that, that, you know, to make it work, but, uh, you know, they, they apparently had a lot of problems with the audio. So apparently they had to, uh, they, they grab a whole bunch of the audio from like VHS tapes and stuff. And, uh, you know, it's like, like, you know, and I did have a whole handful of VHS tapes, but of course they've already, you know, I guess they, uh, I missed the, 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 the work for that, for getting that in, but I mean, um, definitely. So again, if you're interested in the Power Rangers and all that, then that sort of Sentai thing, but more of a kind of a spacey sort of story, you know, um, uh, type of thing, but still just, you know, the same, you know, ninja robots type of thing. Uh, you know, this is a really kind of neat series, you know, again, um, you know, Kind of a really uh, uh, a a womanizer for a main character, just like uh, you know, just like in like uh, many other shows like Dan Cougar, uh, you know, and and whatnot. Uh, but uh, you know, it's kind of a neat to sort of uh, you know twist on it, uh, especially with that Sentai thing, right? You know, because it's two guys, one girl, just like for example Borgman, but now it's ninjas rather than you know, um, you know, sort of futuristic Earth or you know, anything like that. So. Um, a nice twist, and, and it, was, it, was, it, was a, it was a nice, good, fun watch. Um, anyway, so what I was going through, and I was looking to see uh, where it was available, and, and to see if uh, uh, you know I can get it for you know, um, uh, see if uh, there's any free services that that that, that, uh, that, that had it. Um, currently, right now on Retro Crush, uh, they have this uh, uh, free um, uh, you know, two people that so, so they can watch it there. So again, if you want to catch it there, uh, there's there's the availability uh, on that site. Okay, so the last one I want to get into for this particular video is a series called Lamine. Okay, so um, now I when I you know, was uh, still doing fan subbing, you know, I did have a, 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 the Laserdisc box set for NG Knights and the Lamine 40. And I was, you know, contemplating whether to do it or not, because, you know, um, 
there was a lot of good posters and stuff for this series. Um, even though, like, you know, I said, the artwork kind of was a little kind of real rough um, in it, um, as I remember. But, you know, I, I had an opportunity to get the laser disc, and it was, uh, I think it was relatively cheap. You know, you know, it was like half the price. So I thought, okay, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll buy it. And then I was considering doing the, you know, doing the fan stuff for it, because no one really had it done at that time. Um, but then 2004 kind of rolled around, and, you know, I sort of already done everything I really kind of wanted to do, and Laminate was still not, you know, fan sub at that time, and, and then they just were like, yeah, well, screw it, I, I didn't really, so, so in the end, I bought the lasers, but I never actually ended up really doing the fan subs for it, and never really actually even watched it, really, for that matter, um, just, just on, you know, just, just spotting over it and, and whatnot, so I said, okay, well, you know, um, so when I ran across it again when I was doing the, uh, you know, obviously the, 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 the best of the 1990s, right? Um, and then, uh, you know, ran across the OEV again and I thought about it going, you know, I should just, just, just Google it and see if, uh, you know, anything has been done on that, this particular series. And lo and behold, yes, uh, you know, the, they have, uh, you know, licensed it and they've, you know, gone ahead and, and did all the subtitles for it. So I was like, okay, right on, perfect. So this is my... Uh, great opportunity to, to you know to go and catch up and watching the, the uh, watching that series, and um, so when I started doing the uh, you know the, uh, Energy Night and the Laminate Forty, I realized you know uh, and the first thing that really caught me right off the right off the guard was, man, the artwork is really really like, um, I wouldn't say just poor. I just say that 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 that, that you know characters and uh, you know the facial design and the actual character itself is really rough okay um um because when i'm you know I, i'm looking at it going you know i i i know the sort of the premise behind it and and, and whatnot and, and, and you know maybe i'm just 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 you know this is maybe what uh, one of the problems of watching something too new and then you go back and watch something old, then you realize, holy crap, the the, the 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 disparity between the artwork is really really bad. But um, you know, when you watch Laminate, you see, you know, for example, the the, the uh, uh, Coco, right? A Coca. Um, you know, she's got the weird you know, googly eyed glasses, right? And you you know, if you watch things like you know, um, Sorcerer Stabber's Orphan, and um, you know, even like things like Slayers and and and, and what whatnot. You know, the nerdy types always have those weird glasses on, right? And you know, that's very stereotypical. But you know, even when you watch um, things like Saber Marinette J, you can see the references in there, but they're very very, um, you know, sketchier, right? More um, really rough design, right? Um, you know, more prehistoric sort of artwork, right? Okay, so. You know, going into that, I, I realized, okay, yeah, 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 this is a really big turnoff. But the thing is about the, the, that really caught me about um, uh, the, the the first series of Energy Night and the Laminate Forty is that um, it's very slapsticky humor, right? It's very, very, um, uh, very coarse in that in the matter. A lot of uh, uh, gag jokes and that kind of stuff uh, in it. Um, plus, you know, even, even the, the you know the, the second main character, Das Sider, um, you know, he's actually actively telling, you know, puns and bad jokes. Okay, um, so that's what sort of kind of kept me in the series. Just just kind of watch that, and, and just so that uh, this feeling of yeah, I gotta I, I gotta get through it type of thing, right? Um, but uh, you know. Interesting opening theme song. It sounds like a cheerleader song. So you know, it, it, it's 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 really good and. The way it's written reminds me of a song from Compiler. I think uh, I think Kitchen Discotech from Compiler is what it actually sounds like, um, and they might, and they just ended up reusing it for like 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 you know, that particular thing. I don't know. Like, yeah, they'll probably they ended up reusing it because I think Compiler came out afterwards. So, but um, but because of the cast and you know, you know and, and I, I, did, I do believe uh, Megumi Hashibara is in there, so I figured, okay, I'm going to give this a show a chance and, and watch it, right? And yeah, if you watch this too, you'll realize, yeah, okay, the, the artwork's not that good, but man, a lot of animes that follow uses the same kind of template, so that's why that you know things like you know you you'll notice um, if you've watched this and you're going backwards, you've seen, hey, I've seen that in or uh, Source of Scepter. I've seen that in Saber Energy, okay. Um, uh, it also comes with, uh, uh, two, um, e uh, or three 
EX OEVAs for the first series, uh, which again is just let's just take the main character, like the main female characters because they're really popular, and um, let's put it into the into the show and, and make more episodes of it, right? So, um, the premise of the series is actually kind of interesting. It's, it's you know, it's, it's what it reminds me of the most actually is the last Starfighter, okay. Uh, and, and the way I mean, I mean that is that essentially here you got you know the, the, this world that's being you know um, invaded or uh, uh, you know the evils uh, is, is awakening, and the way that they try to find the holy warrior is they make a video game, and the person who manages to beat the video game must be the holy warrior, okay, which ends up being the you know a uh, uh, lamune here, um, and so he gets you know sucked into the TV. And, you know, it ends up in this dimension where he goes, Okay, you're the holy warrior. You've got to defend the, you know, you know defend the empire against the evil attack of blah, blah, blah. Right? You know, it's, it's literally exactly like the, the last starfighter. And, um, yeah, so basically, uh, you know, that's that story. Okay. Um, I'll continue the story by watching Laminate 40 and the fire. So this is the next uh, sort of newer rendition of it. Um, that came out and I said, okay, so I haven't, I haven't re- done the review of it yet, so, but, you know, because it, it's available, I'm going to watch it. And so again, yeah, so now it, this literally is exactly the same story, you know, oh, you know, the evil kingdom, oh, the evil empire, of blah, 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 is getting, taking over the kingdom. We must find the, you know, the hero, the holy weird, the hero to save us all. Okay, we'll put it into a video game and, you know, we'll find you know, the, the kid who beats the video game, you know, he must be the warrior. So we'll, you know, suck him to the TV again and bring him into the world and he will save our world from the evil guys and blah, blah, blah. Um, what's neat about this one is, is the artwork is now much you know, crisper, smoother. You can now really see the relevance in, a, in, a, in, a, in an anime like Saber Marinette J, so even though, you know, the way the main character kind of has that sort of thing, uh, the, the female characters are, are much more bustier, They're, they get into more steamier situations, you know, because there's actually, there's actual episodes like, um, uh, uh, Milk's, uh, Tears and, uh, and Coco's, uh, uh, you know, um, a Dream and things like that, uh, which, you know, are rather, um, well, you know, being TV series, you know, we can't have it too much, but I mean, you know, you, you know, they, it, it goes into the more steamier stuff, right? Um, and definitely a much nicer, uh, you know, you know, similar type of uh, story and ending. So again, definitely recommend it if you if you can't stand the first one, no big deal, just get, don't worry about it. Go straight to uh, Lamini and the Forty Fire. Okay, that's the second series, really good. And then, then of course, as always, they always make the you know the let's. These characters are so, you know, the girl characters are so good, you know, like, uh, popular, yeah, and they were, they made a lot of good posters of them, because, you know, they're, they're you know, busty, um, uh, so they decided, okay, we're gonna make a really, really, uh, you know, skimpy version OEVA, so they made a six OEVA, uh, a thing called, um, uh, Energy Night and, and the Laminate 40 Fresh, okay, and this just, co- just concentrates on the two female characters, uh, Milk and Coca, um, and they basically are the holy virgins, and, uh, well, you know, whatever, one of them is, anyway, <laughs> and uh, they get sent to do this uh, mission to save, uh, you know, uh, and, and uh, you know, protect uh, the, the, the galaxy versus the evil guys. Anyway, um, you know, even just watching the opening theme song for, uh, for Fresh, you can tell there's going to be lots of skin in this episode, okay? And so, uh, yeah, so definitely, um, you know, if you want lots and lots of fan service, which is, in, in which, you know, the guys who are making this realize, hey, we know what sells this series, lots of fan service. So we're going to give them lots and lots of fan service in this show. And so this is what they did for the six uh, OEVA set of For Fair. Uh, again, I'll, I'll, probably, I'll probably get to review those when I get to it until further into the 90s, but definitely, this is one of the series uh, I started watching, and again, um, just because of, you know, of the fact that I love Saber Man and Jay so much, I just, you know, now going backwards and realizing, okay, now I know where all that reference came from. It came from Lamine. So again, uh, do check that out if you're a big fan of that as well. All right, so hopefully that will give you some suggestions and maybe some ideas of some of the things that you might want to check out. Uh, and again, just as I'm going through and finding all these different um, 
you know, resources that are available to us all uh, about uh, how to get to anime and whatnot. And uh, it's definitely uh, in this new modern era, uh, things are a lot easier to come by for sure, hundred percent. So, um, you know, hopefully you'll have a chance to check them out in the next little while. Okay. So, until next time, I will see you again.